What's going on guys? You know, this has been a really weird year for sequels. Red 2, Kick-Ass 2, Percy Jackson, another Smurfs movie. Are these the sequels that we have been demanding? No! Today, we're gonna tell you the sequels that need to be made. And we have a pretty cool panel to help us figure that out. First, uh, down at the end, he has a new book. It's a comedic adventure called Crap Kingdom, super funny, DC Pearson. Hey guys, I'm also a sequel. I'm Donald Charles Pearson IV, technically. So oh! I feel qualified to speak on this, and like most sequels, I'm worse than the original. <laughs> and uh, sitting right next to me, he is a Rotten Tomatoes certified film critic. You can check him out on youtube.com slash schmoes. No, he's one of the schmoes, Mark Ellis. I am also a sequel. I am Mark Ellis Jr., and much like the second film in Star Wars, my dad once tried to cut my hand off. So, uh, we're talking sequels. I'm gonna uh, start us off. A sequel that I would like to see made is unbreakable. I feel like I remember seeing pretty recently, I can't remember what he was promoting, but Samuel L. Jackson was talking about how he was excited to do the next Unbreakable movie with the Mr. Glass character because he is a sort of set up at the end of Unbreakable. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm sorry. It's not the biggest um, Shyamalan spoiler yeah. we can give you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's another movie where that happens. Oh, it also someone, has Bruce Willis. Someone actually got mad uh, when uh, I spoiled six cents on this show. There should be the way that things go into like um, public domain after a while. They should have that for spoilers where there's yeah. like a thing where Congress announces like, okay, it's now in, you know, spoiled territory. Yeah. I would go ahead and greenlight an unbreakable sequel just because it would stop Bruce Willis from making another Die Hard. If I have to see Bruce in a sequel, let's do Unbreakable 2, as opposed to whatever the next train wreck Die Hard movie yeah, is going to be. Yeah, I, I believe Willis has said that he is like tired of doing movies with like guns and explosions, and that was the sort of interesting thing about the uh, about Unbreakable is that it was a comic book superhero movie where everyone just talked in whispers and like lightly shoved each other. I think you could have just stopped at Bruce Willis is tired of making movies, Mark. What do you want to see? Well, we still have to wait another 30 years for the next 50 year storm, but we should not have to wait that long for Point Break 2. Are you kidding me? If we have the hologram technology, we can CGI Patrick Swayze back into this thing. We need to know what happened to Special Agent Johnny Utah. If you really want to go that route, I think you have to make it a mashup of Ghost and Point Break. What would Point Break 2 be called? Point break two, well, if you go the football route, which I want Keanu Reeves to regain his quarterback abilities and play in the NFL in the Super Bowl, so you could call it point break extra point. Or point break into Electric Boogaloo. We should probably have a sequel with the Electric Boogaloo tagline, so what better film than point break? Uh, DC? Uh, the first one on my list is a, a very recent release, potentially the most recent release of any of the ones we're gonna mention today. Pacific Rim has not been greenlit for a sequel. It was a really good movie, but it was a really great setting of the table for potentially an awesome franchise of giant monsters and giant robots fighting each other. Totally. So do they reopen that portal? Anytime God closes a portal through which monsters come through, he opens a window through which monsters come through. Oh, what would you call the next Pacific Rim? I just have a, I don't know what I personally would call it. I just have a feeling with the way that sequel titles are trending. It's always like the name of the first movie, colon, <laughs> legacy of the rise of the fallen, of the fear of the terror of the robots of the aliens. It's catchy. Um, it's a hashtag, it's a good hashtag. Okay, uh, next movie I'm gonna go, with. I would love to see Inception. There's just so many places you could take that and so many crimes. And the one dream that they never really covered, which I think we can all relate to the most, is when you're naked, you're in high school, and you have to go do a high school play that evening, but you forgot your lines. That's one thing they didn't do in Inception, go into any like weird goofy dreams. Yeah, there was know? never like that. I just always have the one where I'm falling. And you kind of got that a little bit when they're floating around in the hotel room. Just for a shot like that alone, I can go see another Inception. From what I understand, the Avatar sequel is going to, the first Avatar sequel is going to take place underwater. So if they go that route with it, it could be Inception 2, Wet Dream. Or maybe Inception 2, What Dreams May Come. That's somehow dirtier than the one I just said. Mark. Uh, I'm going to go a little more old school, and I'm going to say Beetlejuice 2. I don't know why Beetlejuice 2 didn't happen initially, but I think enough time has gone by. Maybe Michael Keaton could come back as an older Beetlejuice, training a younger Beetlejuice played by... Zac Efron. No. What would you call a new installment of Beetlejuice? Ooh, Beetlejuice. That's a tough... beetlejuice -er? I feel like you could just be Beetletoos. With a two. Beetle two. Uh -huh. Yeah. As long as it's not that ma like the mask sequel and son of Beetlejuice. Ooh, I feel like we could get into that territory so easily that's with that a, movie. That's a slippery slope. Jamie Kennedy, do not play Beetlejuice. No. Please don't. DC? 
Uh, my second one was uh, The Fifth Element. Again, Bruce Willis actually giving a shit, which is always a total joy to watch. <laughs> it would be tough for it to disappoint to me, because I don't know what it would be. I just know that that would be neat. What would we call uh, the uh, next installment of The Fifth Element? Well, you wouldn't want to call it The Sixth Element, because then we would all know from the beginning that Corbin Dallas was a ghost. Spoiler alert. We're giving away a lot of spoilers. <laughs> about for all the same movie. Yeah. What movie do you want to see? What do we leave off the list? Please. Let us know in the comments section below. Best answer, get the Screen Junkies t-shirt. I want to thank my delightful panel, DC Pearson. Pick up his book, Crap Kingdom, in stores now. Mark Ellis, youtube.com slash schmozno. Subscribe. Subscribe to us if you haven't already. And thank you for watching. I'm Hal Rudnick. Bye-bye. Are you guys excited about the Screen Junkies show, one year anniversary? Never heard of it. Haven't seen it. I don't know Screen Junkies. I have no idea what that is. I don't even know what that is. Are you a fan of Hal Rudnick? Who's that?